magic school bus. Uh, you had to ask, didn't you, Arnold? You know I hate the cold. I just wanted to know where the heat in my hot cocoa went. A burning question, Arnold. And what better place to study heat than the land of ice and cold? <laughs> you mean we're in the Arctic? Exactly. The, the Arctic? That's one of the coldest places on the Earth. At my old school, we wore jackets when it was cold. Oh, jackets, of course. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Uh, Ms. Frizzle, aren't these a little thin for the Arctic? Well, let's see what else we have in stock. Wool jackets? Nope. Downfield parkas? On order. Sheepskin flight jackets? Out of stock. <laughs> Miss Frizzle, look out! Whoopsie! Come on, bus. Do your stuff. The engine's frozen. And the heater's cooling down already. I knew it. We've been frizzled again. I heard that, Tim. And I like it. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Keisha, shut the window. You're letting all the heat out. According to my research, the Arctic temperature can drop to 100 degrees below zero. Arnold, you got us into this. And I'm going to get you out. How? <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't ask me that. Uh-oh, looks like some of us are losing heat faster than others. That's right. Liz is cold-blooded. She gets most of her heat from outside her body. Look. I think she's trying to point to something. Don't worry, Liz. I'm warm-blooded. My heat is your heat. Maybe she was pointing at this trunk. Hey! Excuse me. All right, ski goggles. Ooh, not quite, Ralphie. These aren't ski goggles. They're heat peepers. Heat peepers? What do they do? Whoa. Is it just me, or did Ms. Frizzle get frizzier? That's not hair, Ralphie. It's some kind of stuff moving away from her body. If that's the case, then moving heat means losing heat. And it's going fast. It's going right out of the bus. And out into the cold. Keisha, oh, please keep the window shut. Now I understand. That's where the heat in my cocoa went. Out the top and through the metal mug. Oh, you got it, Arnold. Heat is always on the move. And it's moving out of our bodies. We need to find a heat source. <sighs> Maybe there's a heater or something in here. Hey, wood. We can make a fire. Oh, way to go, Arnold. When you're hot, you're hot. But this is no ordinary sculptor. No, 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 indeed. In fact, nothing about my great-grandfather was ordinary. <clears throat> in his will, he left specific instructions as to the manner in which this monument must be built. They read as follows, and I quote, a statue formed without human hand, shaped and scraped like our vast changing land, bumped and thumped by wedges and blows. <gasps> the artist what? will chisel my face as it flows. Great, you knocked off Captain Walker's ear. I was trying to give him a mouth. Man, this is hard work. It sure would be a lot easier if we could use our hands to carve it. He's going back. Back. And he's 
an exit! A terrific catch, folks! Aren't you guys finished yet? We're supposed to be down at the ceremony now! Our parents are all there, not to mention Mrs. Walker Club Dupree. Well, I'd like to see Mrs. Walker Club Dupree go any faster, Arnold. It's freezing up here. Uh, give me a break, guys. My reputation as a rock expert is at stake. I guaranteed the committee we could do it. But this is ridiculous, Arnold. Whoever heard of carving rock without using your hands? Don't worry, you're doing great. The statue looks just like Captain Walker. Well, sort of. No matter, this statue will last forever. A monument to our hard work and ingenuity. I don't mean to shatter your mood, Arnold, but nothing is forever. Miss Frizzle! Not even rock. No way! I know rock, and rock is permanent. And I know water, Arnold, and this is ice. <laughs> Very ice indeed. So a little water's gotten in the crack and frozen. What's the big deal? Water can't break rock. Is it just me, or is the statue moving? It is indeed, Ralphie. See? Yikes! The ice is splitting the rock! Ah, the statue's breaking away from the mountain! Precisely. Captain Walker! He's going to get smashed to smithereens! Looks like Captain Walker's going to get to the ceremony before we do. How about clouds? Can you make clouds too? Of course, Wanda. After all, you need clouds for a thunderstorm. Err, oh. Wanda, Dorothy Ann, I can't believe you're buying into this. You need to add water. I learned that in my old school, Weatherman. Thank you, Phoebe. Yes, clouds are made of water. Weatherman will now make a cloud. I give up. Arnold, this is ridiculous. Thanks to Weatherman, you guys are all wet. Shika shika kaboom! <laughs> Time to break out the watercolors. We're changing again. Oh, Weatherman has turned us from water into tiny little water droplets. Keep together, class. This is fun. Clouds are made up of millions of tiny, tiny little water droplets. We really made a cloud! Thanks to Weatherman. I knew I should have brought a sweater. It's cold up here. Cold? It's <gasps> freezing! Oh, we're turning into ice crystals. Oh, I love this part. We're unique. We're beautiful. We're also falling. Good observation, Carlos. When ice crystals in a cloud grow and stick together, they get heavy. But now we're getting warmer. Which must be why we're melting! Weatherman made rain! You are not Weatherman! Oh, Keisha, stop being such a trip. <laughs> that was fantastic! What a ride! Come on, Weatherman! Let's do it again! And coming up is Mars! The fourth planet, right, Ms. Frizzle? Very good, Janet. Ooh, you certainly do know your planets. I got straight A's on all my reports. We know, we know, we know enough, enough already. Oh, here we are, class. Take a look at Mars. <gasps> How marvelous. It looks like the whole place is rusting. No wonder it's called the Red Planet. As you can see, the soil here is colored by red dust, which has iron in it. Look at those cliffs of ice. Ice climbing, anyone? Wow! Ah, no 
thanks. Too cold. Too slippery. Too right. Who wants to waste time climbing up an old ice cap anyway? Come on, cuz. We've got Jane, work to stop. do. Maybe I should have stayed home today. We made it to the top! I wonder if Mars could have been another Earth if it had water and wasn't so cold. Maybe. But as I always say, Mars is the best place for ice cream. Ice cream? Where? Here! Ice cream! Ice block. Great! Now for some red dust. On Earth, I had simple little chores emptying waste baskets, feeding the fish, clearing the table. <laughs> the only thing is, we've been to Mercury, Venus, and Mars so far, and we haven't seen a single. <gasps> Which way's the bus? Arnold! I knew it was him the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I always wondered what it would be like to be a cloud. I love it. Hey, watch it. Lighten up, Arnold. You're a cloud. Now we're one big cloud. But clouds don't go to school. Clouds don't give reports. They stay in the air. We'll never get down. Whoa, whoa. Water always falls out of the clouds. Eventually, it's raining. We are the rain, Phoebe. This is even better than the raindrop parachute ride. Wahoo! Hope you don't mind our dropping ball. Hey, a frizzle drizzle. <laughs> Low class. Wait for us, Frizzle! We're out of control! Don't worry, Arnold. Wanda, we're thousands of miles from school, running into some strange forest. We're almost on the ground, and then we'll stop! Or not! Is it true that water always runs downhill? <laughs> yes! yes. Water works, water runs, water falls! Look out for the uh, Where's all this water going in such a hurry? Water always flows to the lowest spot, Phoebe. And we're almost there. The ocean? <laughs> <laughs> 